Not everybody has the ability to focus on the game for 10 hours a day, but throwing it up on a second monitor and AFKing while you get some work done is a great way to make some passive GP or gain some XP. And with that in mind, welcome to AFKing 9 to 5. Fellas, welcome to episode one of my new series. The whole point of this series is to give you guys a full understanding of a bunch of different AFK activities you can do while either working from home on a chill day where you just wanna watch movies or anytime you just don't wanna focus on the game but still make some gains. The idea is to give you a realistic presentation of what you can expect in a day while actually AFK and not just presenting you with idealistic perfect numbers. In episode one, I'll be fishing Karam once. This is one of my favorite AFK activities because of its consistent AFK time. First, we should talk about requirements. To unlock the ability to fish Karambwans, you need to complete Taibowanai Trio. This quest has pretty low requirements being only 15 agility, 30 cooking, and 5 fishing. Upon the completion of this, you're now able to catch Karambwans, but they do still have a fishing level requirement behind them. To actually catch them, you will need 65 fishing. But on the other hand, this also gives you the access to catch the bait for Karam ones. Karam ones are interesting because I believe they're one of the only fishing activities that you can't just do. You can't buy the bait, so you have to catch it all yourself. And this in itself is an AFK activity. So as a little bonus for episode one, I've got two full work days to detail for you here. I started off with a nice eight hour day of catching Karam Wanji and this is incredibly AFK. Over the course of eight hours, I clicked on my game client less than 50 times. I was getting an insane 4.5K fishing XP per hour, and with this, I was catching 18,900 Karambwanji per hour with the help of Rada's Blessing 4. If you're very old school and haven't done your diaries, the Karen and Kebo's diary offers you Rada's Blessing. This has a passive fishing buff when you equip it. Each tier of diary gives you an additional 2% chance to catch an additional fish. This doesn't give you additional XP, but Karambwanji are an interesting case because when you catch one fish, you're actually catching many more. The way this formula works is that if you take your fishing level, divide it by five and add one. So if you're at 95 fishing or higher, you'll be catching 20 Karambwanji each time. And if you're at level five, the lowest level you can catch these little fish at, you'll only be catching two. If Rada's Blessing procs while you're fishing, that number will be doubled. So at 95 plus, you'll actually catch 40. And at level five, you'll catch four. During my day fishing here, my blessing procced 543 times, giving me an additional 10,860 fish. And trust me, this is a lot. You'll see how many Karambwanji I used in a day later in this video, so stay tuned for that. And with all that info out there, let me just give you my final numbers for my day of fishing Karambwanji. I fished for 8 hours, caught 151,420 Karambwanji, and I gained a total of 36,100 XP. I made no money today and didn't really gain a ton of XP, but I've set myself up for a lot of Karambwan fishing, and I won't need to return here for a very long time. And now, the juicy part. Fishing Karambwans. The XP and GP here is actually pretty great for an AFK activity, but it is made much better by owning a fish barrel. This will double your AFK time by essentially giving you a second inventory to store fish every trip. So in my opinion, it is a must have. I said earlier that I like this activity because of its consistent AFK time, but your AFK time does vary here, but it's actually entirely based on your fishing level. At 65 fishing, you have a 41% chance to successfully catch a Karambwan, and all the way at 99, you have a 62% chance. Since this fishing spot never moves, this is really the only variable you have here. At 99 fishing, my AFK time was roughly 4 minutes per trip, and the lower your fishing level goes, the longer your trip will be. This spot is unlike regular fishing. If you are low level fishing, if you fail to catch a Karambwan, it will actually steal your bait without offering you a catch. So the lower your fishing level is, the more Karambwanji you'll go through every day. To make this activity really worthwhile, you really need to unlock fairy rings. And if you have the 65 fishing requirement, I'm assuming you're into the game enough to have at least these unlocked. So let's start with getting to the fishing spot. There are multiple different ways to get here, but you'll always want to use a fairy ring. The best and obviously fastest way is to have direct teleports to a bank through the crafting or farming skill cape, but a ring of dueling works great as well for the Castle Wars bank. You'll also want a direct teleport to a fairy ring. 
A construction cape is ideal for free teleports, but a quest cape to teleport to the Legends Guild works as well, and so does a house tab. Using teleports that are not free will obviously cut into your profits, but it does work and you have other options if you don't have these specific skill capes. If you are not using the fairy ring in your POH, you will most likely need to change the ring every time you bank. This really adds up in time, so I highly recommend building one in your POH if you can. To bank this way, you want to set the fairy ring to the Chasm of Fire at DJR. This has a bank pretty close by, and when you return from this bank, you want to set the ring to DKP to teleport back to the Karambwans. You can make this easier by adding them to your favorites and simply clicking them on the travelog to save you the headache of remembering the codes or typing them every time. So we know how to get there, we know how to catch them, let's talk about how much money we're going to make. Karambwan prices go up and down quite a bit. They normally peak when a new PvP update is announced, because these fish act as good combo eating food. The downside to this is that a PvP update is only announced every 4 years. But lucky for us, they are quite expensive right now due to the release of Bounty Hunter. I was catching 798 Karambwans an hour at a price of 391 GP each. This was making me about 313k per hour and gaining me 41,000 fishing XP per hour. I don't want to get your hopes up, but when the prices settle, you're more likely to make closer to 250k per hour, but I spent 8 hours fishing, I caught 6,409 Karambwans, I used 10,259 Karambwanji, and just to note here, this is less than the amount of bonus I got from using Rada's Blessing, so I basically got a full day for free. I gained 328,100 XP, and I made 2.5 million GP. Karambwans are a great AFK activity for the workday, and I would highly recommend them for anyone who has the opportunity to play during the day. If you fish Karambwans 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, you would spend 40 hours fishing, catch 32,045 Karambwans, use 51,295 Karambwanji, gain 1.6 million fishing XP, and make 12.5 million GP at current prices. This one gets the seal of approval from me, but in the next episode of AFK 9 to 5, I'll be going for a PVM pet drop, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Thank you to my channel members DTech, Dino, and Snacks. Normally I'd link another episode of the series here, but since this is episode 1, there's a video on screen of how you can make money with skilling that does have some AFK options in it. But other than that, I've got nothing left to say, so I'll see you in the next one.